Okay, we're recording. To the Improvatars, live from the Highbrow Theater, here on VRC. I am Disco Jesus, sitting in for Calamander, who is currently still on assignment. Tonight, a story about four improvisational comedians struggling to make audiences laugh from their little corner of the metaverse. All of this done with help from you, our audience. Before we get to our story, let's set the scene. Imagine a show that at times can get a little bit raunchy. So please, everybody be above the age of 18 before you continue with the show. This show is being recorded for later publishing. Out of respect for our performers and your fellow audience members, please keep heavy or unoptimized avatars at a minimum. And please keep your disruptive behavior to a minimum. We will be asking for your assistance from time to time during the show. So please keep your microphones unmuted and be ready with prompts, laughs, and emojis as we can get through the show tonight. All right, with that in mind, let's bring out our four improvatars for the evening. First up, subbing in for Robbie, we've got the Wanda from Down Under, it's Babs. Mm -hmm. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, hi, Dallin. It's always good for an Aussie kiss with you. <laughs> hi, Dallin. <laughs> How you doing tonight? I'm good, babe. All right. <laughs> awesome. Let's move on. On loan from Improv Night with Stevie and Shoseki, it's Stevie. Uh, <laughs> Uh, Indeed. Uh. <laughs> I think that was something or other for... And next up, some say she hangs her avatars in her homeworld's closet before logging off, and that she occasionally drops portals to lure the trolls and creeps of VR chat to their doom. It's Nicole. <laughs> you have no proof of that. No proof. But I totally do it. Last but not least, she, she's back there with so many vitamins coursing through her system. Don't do drugs, children. <laughs> that when we were all acting in tea poses, she spent an inordinate amount of time trying to find the emote for the tea pose in her avatar menu. Instead of just, you know, sticking out her hands. <laughs> it's your mommy and warbird, Zarnia! I found it. I found how to do the T pose. It's right here. All righty. And now for our first game. Our first game tonight is going to be Conscience. This game is for all per four performers. Two performers are going to act out a scene suggested by the audience, while the other two performers provide the innermost thoughts of the actors out in front. So let's get Babs and Nicole down in front, and we're going to have Stevie and Zarnia play their consciences. So in other words, what's going to happen is one of the, one of the players up front, Babs or Nicole, is going to say a line <laughs> immediately after that their conscience is going to say what they're really thinking. So what I need is I need a situation. I need something from the audience to get these people started with a scene. <laughs> Catholic <laughs> confessional. Okay. That has <laughs> no possibility of being weird and or awkward between what you really say and what you're really thinking. Not my childhood again. Catholic confessional. <sighs> Catholic confessional at a bar. So, would you would you say instead this is an Irish pub? 
I think I did this when I was 17 and pregnant. <laughs> Every time Nicole plays anyway, Stacey, yeah. ends up being a Catholic theme to something. <laughs> it's like, I have a heart in heaven. <laughs> I don't know his name either. <laughs> oh, wow. We are it's getting okay. off to an awesome and totally structured start. <laughs> I am loving this. All right. It's okay. Babs, Nicole, whenever you're ready, take it away. I think I must confess for my sins today. Except that one, of course. That never. <laughs> no, this is not happening today. You can tell me whatever you need to, my child. Oh, this crazy bitch again. I, I I was considering seeing as Jesus' father is in heaven. Can I send mine to heaven? It is really expensive shipping to get something way up there. I just need like some sort of some sort of shortcut. Well, my child, I believe that I can leave a message for him. If you just want to write it right here, and I'll keep it right over here for him. I'm your messenger. I'm fucking FedEx to heaven. So, um, I, 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 I might have to confess my sins of our planning to send him there in the box. I am. What I mean I am... by him is obviously my son who was just born. I am capable of caring for him so and sending him to Wonka, but I don't know how I can convey that without being sent to prison. My child, I was just going to say, I don't know if it would survive that long, and yeah, you definitely go to prison. I remember that time I was in prison. Oh my gosh, they had the best hamburgers. <laughs> uh, um, is it a sin to eat the buns? Of a person? I was fine. I'm a bit, uh, yeah, that, that kind of... And... Um, hold on. Uh, uh, oh, this is the worst place for this. Well, I mean, we do have a place out back that, you know, we do have some kinky Catholic uh, shit. But, you know, we don't really talk about that. Oh, my gosh. She's going to want an invitation to the key parties. Do you have the backyard barbecue with the little wieners? Little bit, no, no, no. no my Fuck. Oh, oh, God. Uh, God, this, this is like an eternity in here. Uh, is there air conditioning? Well, there are some little wieners, but I don't suggest touching them unless you want the police to show up like last time. I need to buy dog food on my way home. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, I'm god. glad I buzzed that because okay. this is going to hell in a fry filled paper lined wicker basket. It's like, don't send me to a confessional. <laughs> All right. And here's I'm one so of my favorite my parts of the show. Here. Since we're talking about Catholicism and confessionals, this is the point where our where our improvatars get to sit in judgment from you. So I'm going to have each of them turn around and face the red curtain of uncertainty. While you guys look above each and every one of these seats, there's four emojis out there. If you could pull up your emoji wheels and spam the emojis for the improvatar that you guys enjoyed the most. All right. I am seeing some smiley faces. I'm seeing some thumbs up. I'm seeing more smiley faces and thumbs up. All right, let's give it to the smiley faces. Babs, you're going to take our first game. Excellent, excellent work. And because you won the first game, your prize is going to be you get to go right back down front and center because you're going to be starting our next game, which is playing with my dinghy. <laughs> We have a different name for this in Australia, and what a dinghy is, is, um, yeah, more interesting. <laughs> I am certain that it is. All right, let's have Zarnia come down with Babs. 
And basically how this game works, we're going to do this game really quickly. We're going to do it twice, once after the other. We're going to have two two improvisers up front. They're going to improvise a scene at any point. I can ring the bell. Or ring the bell. Or ring the bell. And at that point, when the bell is rung, the Pavlovian response is for the person who just spoke their line to change the lineup and say something completely different. So I need a quick sort of situation that two people might find themselves in where things can get totally not awkward, totally not quickly. Then I shouldn't be here. (laughs) What was that? McDonald's stand. McDonald's stand? Mac is. There you go. Okay. We're 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 in line at as you put it, so far south, Macos. All right. And whenever you guys are ready, take it away. <laughs> oh, they got a good big hey, Mac there. Excuse me. Excuse me. What is this line buns? for? Buns? I'm, I'm trying is to that check what out those buns on the Big Mac. Why is this line so long? Did you ding I'm, me or I'm her? Trying to... Yeah, that's what I was trying to work out. It's like, I- I'm just trying to check out the um, checkout chick. <laughs> that's what the sort line is for. Is... You two can share the dinghy. I'm sure you guys can figure out amongst Ooh. yourselves if there's a conflict. Just as long as we don't have to pick him up behind the bins. Um... <laughs> All right, well, I'm going to get in line behind you here because you seem like a friendly person. And it looks like we're going to be in line Ooh. for a while. Wow. I just didn't know that. It's just... yeah. It looks like we're going to be in line for days. I'd stand in line for days to check out that chick. I wonder if she's working tomorrow. Oh, I could let her fish that. The redhead or the bald lady? I was, I was thinking the uh, redhead and the blonde, but I wonder if they've got a rooster back there. Oh, I, I wonder if they've got a big beef burger back there. Ooh. Oh, like those breasts on that burger. Well, cows cows don't have breasts. Oh, I, I know, I know, but you still got to milk them and pull at their teats, and um, you still have <laughs> they sort of have, right, right, have right, a but, little bit of breast there if you get to uh, milk those teats. Um, but at the same time, most men on the farm have a lot of practice. I'm just saying you can't have a breast burger. You would have a like a you, you you can't have like breast cow. I mean then you would be eating an udder. That'd be utterly before the punchline. <laughs> I just want that breast in my mouth. What can I say? <laughs> okay. I-, I wouldn't mind a sausage slam, though. <laughs> <laughs> uh, have you not had breakfast there? <laughs> Only during Pride Month. It's, it's, it's the farm on a bun. <laughs> sausage egg and meat cheese McGriddle. Sausage egg McMuffin. Uh, sausage bagel, uh, sausage in the big breakfast, um, sausage ba- sausage biscuit. Yeah, they sell sausage at McDonald's, just not yeah. in you know tubular form. God, I'm <laughs> doesn't mean so you can't, hungry you know, right if, now. But if you work yeah, with your hand, patty, they make it slim. <laughs> yeah, something like that. All right, let's do this game one more time. Bring it back from the beginning. Let's have Stevie and Nicole hop up front and center. And it's their turn with the Pavlovian torture device, also known as the dinghy. So let's get one more quick little scene scenario sort of situation that these people can find themselves in. Yes. (laughs) We're mixing it up. You said blind at KFC. (laughs) You can be blind in the line at KFC. (laughs) Hey, we got a chicken in the audience. You're talking about KFC? I oh, think that's Red Rooster. I mean, Red Rooster. <laughs> <laughs> we'll make it work. All right. In the line at the KFC, Stevie and Nicole, whenever you're ready, take it away. Uh, sir, can you hand me a Braille menu real quick? I, uh, 
I'm sorry. I I I'm I'm, I'm I legally got this condition. I'm sorry. We don't have that down south, but I mean, you want to blind people in the this south? chicken? You might be able to, you know, read something on it. Wait. So so I read the chicken so I can see. Okay. Um. Yeah, if you uh, can it, feel kinda... like the breading on the chicken, the curves, and all the little things. Well, something might fall off, but that something might not fall off. But you know, you never know. I mean, you just you know keep feeling it, and then you tell me Why this what kind of chicken laminated. Um, top secret. Anyway, uh, but uh, do you know what you want? Well, okay, so. This only has wait. This has this has a phone number on it, but it doesn't look like yours. This does this have your aunt's phone number on it? This has this has uh, the 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 numbers on the back of my health card on it. Should I call the police? Hold on. This has uh this has the coordinates for the Declaration of Independence. Are you Nicholas Cage? I cannot confirm nor deny that, but do you want to order something or do you want to just question who I am? Listen, okay, so I'll, I'll just take a, I'll take a piece of chicken that looks exactly like this, but like twice as big. I'm very hungry. All right, let me go to the back and get it. <sighs> How about this? Wait. wait. Okay. Uh, uh, it could used to be a three degrees warmer. Place. I uh, I kind of got something calmed down. Okay. 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 Uh, you might you might want to turn around. Okay. Maybe you maybe you should watch. You maybe you could learn something. <clears throat> what, what what is going on here? Okay. Okay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> May, if you want to look, you can. If you don't want to look, you you don't have to. But uh. This is top secret stuff, you know, it doesn't just come out warm, here, you know, we gotta... Right? I'm sorry, what did you say? There's like, there's like families over there, one of them, I'm pretty sure there's like two of them on top of each other, and they have like a trench coat and a pandora on top of them, but like, I'm sure... That... I mean, there's like two people over there with Happy Meals, and it's kind of disrespectful in this establishment, I'll admit, but like, it's... it's there, there's, there's kids here. Eh, it's 2023. They could just go on Google and see it. Eh, it's nothing, you know. No matter. Yes. Privatize. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> All right. That scene was finger licking good, just like your mom. <laughs> Hello. Okay. All right. That was. I play with my dinghy, playing with my dinghy. We're going to have the, the, the Provitars turn around and we're going to fling up some emojis once again. So get those emoji wheels out and spam those emojis. They correspond with the, the Improvatar that you thought rocked that scene. I'm seeing some hearts. I'm seeing some thumbs pointed sky high. I'm seeing some hearts. I'm seeing some thumbs. It looks like the hearts are going to get this one. So that would be Stevie. Thank you. All right. I'm going to take a quick break here just to let everybody know that while it's not expected, if there's anyone who wishes to support the Improvatars in a monetary fashion, please check the table at the back of the theater near the spawn point for several methods by which you can support the show. With that, moving on to our next game. I'd buy that for a dollar. All right, one performer is going to turn their volume off while we get a secret prompt of the from the audience of something for them to sell. The other three performers are going to ask leading questions to give the seller hints as to what they could be selling. All right, let's have Nicole. I think Nicole is giving me the best sales eyes right now, so I'm going to have Nicole step over to the podium. Is it because I work at Best Buy? I swear, not even on my day off. In <laughs> indeed, indeed, it does. Not, working from Best Buy, totally not a sponsor. All right, Nicole, I'm going to go ahead and have you mute everything and give me a wave when you're ready. 
Okie dokie. Alrighty, so what I need from the audience is a weird or random object that Nicole could be selling our lovely improvatars. Dildos? Geek Squad car hug. warranties? I mean, car, car, car warranties are pretty hard to sell. Do you not get the, all the spam calls on your phone? It's like, it's like, nah, it's like, that's ignore. It's like, uh, private, no. Extended, uh, okay. Not okay. Not okay. Okay. Ever been given. <laughs> Extended warranties. Let's, let's do it. Let's see if we can do something with it. Extended warranties for adult novelties. <laughs> adult novelties, everybody. Uh, extended warranties for adult novelties all right nicole hello nicole head pat head pat head pat i had to find the button again <laughs> that's what he says every time <laughs> All right, the other three improvatars are going to tr ask you leading questions to sell you product name redacted. All right, and whenever you guys are ready, go ahead and take it away. Yes, the I one with the about cotton candy you. dress. Oh, is that what I'm wearing today? Okay, hey, check this out. I, I have to know, like, how did you come up with this idea? Did it come to you and <laughs> did it just come to you? I want to say that's what she said, but I'm, you know, <clears throat> uh, it, yeah, it came to me in a dream. It came to me in a dream. Just one night I was really tired and I'm just like, man, that's such a great idea. I'm a genius. Must be a wet dream. Yes, in the uh, hippie shirt. Ah, thank you. Yes, I came from hippiesonline.com. We're actually a frequent user of uh, your product. Uh, and I just want to know, uh, so when you woke up from that dream, did you find that you looked back on it and you were kind of satisfied, but you, 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 wanted to, you wanted to take it back? You wanted to just, you wanted to, you wanted to go back, you wanted to try a different dream the next night? Of course, you always want to keep it spicy. You don't want to have the same dream every night. And, you know, that's why I kept coming up with different things, you know, to satisfy so many people. Yes, in the animal costume. Um, I was just curious, um, with the whole um, extension of it, does it make it last longer? I tried to add extra slots so it could make it even longer of a use um, because I found out that the first trials kind of died really quickly, but I now improved it so that you could plug in a USB or and it'll work. I, <clears throat> with, with, yes. Can I ask you a question? Yes, yes. So when, 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 when you were coming up with this idea and you were like, planning on the different levels that would be available did you account for wear and tear and really i i have to know what what is the worst wear and tear you've actually come across so i tried to make it out of all different materials i tried plastic i tried metal i tried human flesh that got me arrested but <laughs> i found that <laughs> I mean, I've only seen one that was torn to pieces, and I don't know what kind of person did that, but I mean, I want to know what they're on, because I want that, too. Yes, with the long hair. Hi, thank you so much. I, I work on it for three hours every morning. So, uh, is there, like, a limit to, like, a maximum amount of people who can use this uh, before... Uh, uh, you know, before sending it back because sometimes when i you know uh sometimes when i'm using it with my with my friends uh, they we go for a sort of a push push pass mentality and so we go in a circle of at least 27 different people and continue trying it out and we uh and and and, and sometimes you know i don't, I don't know what falls within your rules 
I mean, you could do whatever you want with my product, but I would say to get tested if you keep passing it around like that because uh, it's not dermatologist tested. So, uh, yeah, I'm not paying your medical <laughs> bill. <clears throat> yes, with the purple shirt. Um, Some people... Um, use their products like every once a week, maybe. I have gotten to a point of using my products every day. Um, with the extra usage of my products, does that mean the value goes up or down? Um, it depends. You could probably sell it on eBay and make a lot more money if you used it than when you bought it. <laughs> Depending. <laughs> Wait, I got one more question. This is a good. It's an important question. Okay, okay, we got time for one more. So, say my product has, say my product has a lot of wear and tear, and I'm going to give it to a friend. Will your product transfer with it? God. (laughs) Inquiring minds want to know. Okay. I have never tried that, but you know what? That's gonna be my new sales pitch. That was that was a big clue. That was a big. (laughs) All right, Nicole. So, big hints aside, do you have any idea what exactly it is you are selling tonight? I mean, I thought it was a dildo, but now I'm confused. You're so. You are not far (laughs) off. Vibrator. The transfer is the. What? what, what, You close. And we're talking about a transfer, not a base. <laughs> you are selling extended warranties for adult novelties. Ah, adult okay. novelties, everybody. By the way, by the way, we do actually sell that at Best Buy. You can literally go to our website and buy it. Please don't buy it, though. If you return it at my store, I quit. <laughs> I just want it. I want it. I warranty that it's gonna last long enough. <laughs> I mean, we sell protection plans, Nashville. but in, in Nashville, she is going to turn you away. I mean, not to be too stereotypical about it, but this is the same place that hires the Geek Squad. How long do the geeks really last with the extended warranties? They're just happy to be a there. A while, because they're probably useless <laughs> elsewhere. Anyway. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> you're 90, 90, 90. 95. I could tell you how long one of the geeks lasted. I can't do <laughs> That sounds like part of the after show. Weird. So, what I need you guys to do is I need you guys years. to turn around and face the big red curtain of chastity and PG-13-ness. All of you. And I need everybody on my audience to start spamming emotes. See who rocked that particular sales pitch. All righty. I'm seeing some flames. I'm seeing some thumbs. I'm seeing more thumbs. I'm seeing thumbs. A couple more flames. I'm seeing thumbs. All right. Let's give that one to Zarnia with the big, big hints, everybody. It was a good hint. That's what we're going to call them. I was thinking of AIDS when she said that. (laughs) (laughs) No, you transfer the warranty. Does the warranty transfer with the adult novelty item? The warranty chooses the user. The user doesn't choose the warranty. (laughs) I'd say the warranty is probably about the only thing that doesn't transfer when you're um, passing around used adult novelties anyway moving on to the next game next game is freeze ray this is a crowd favorite we're gonna bring two performers down in the front of the stage let's have zarnia and stevie come on down front and center they are going to improvise the scene at any point the other two performers can yell freeze which will stop the scene immediately they can sub out one of the performers that is up on stage they will change to a new scene and continue and hopefully Hilarity will ensue. I enjoy. I, I, I think I'm. I'm just going to keep talking here. If they're going to keep doing interpretive dance for however I'm, I'm talking about the game. So let's see how long you guys can keep this up because I can talk all night long. I've got a whole script. I'm the only. Even though Speaking this is an improv space, show, I'm the only one the with the script. 
no no well if you i mean we, we do have robbie who is supposed to be up here robbie you're more than welcome to come up on stage and per participate you know in this last little bit Please, of show Bobby, here let's everybody it. welcome to the stage <laughs> robbie how many calories left in the audience thank you very much thank you he's mellow he's magic he's robbie everybody big old round of applause keep on talking keep on dancing you should be dancing yeah you should I'm be dancing. dancing now i'm gonna start doing um, dramatic readings of bg's lyrics starting with Saturday night fever. All right. Yeah. Let's end this torture. Let's end this torture by giving these guys a scene in order to get started. Any old random thing so that we can get going. Best Buy Return Center. That is what we call in the industry a callback. All right. Best Buy Return Center. We got Zarnia perfecting the T pose of awesomeness. Now, the next now the next two poses you've got to learn are the H pose and the C pose. <laughs> but we can work on that in the rehearsals which we'll talk more about in just a moment until then let's go ahead and have zarni and stevie whenever you guys are ready take it away excuse me excuse me sir i have this extended warranty on this um exotic boomerang it's and i want to tell you <laughs> It's the exotic boomerang, and um, I plug it in. Okay. Okay. Yeah, well, I want to tell you right. what this thing does when I try to use it, because I need to just. Well, okay. Is Do you need some RC help? No, okay. Do you need some? Give me a second. I'm gonna oh, stand over. Oh, my need, goodness gracious. You need an elliptical. All right. So this boomerang thing. I plug it in, and I. I, I don't get it. I think it's broke. I want to return it. I, I didn't touch it. I just plugged it in. I have the extended warranty from that. Um, I don't know if you saw her on the news, but it's fascinating. I, I went right out and bought one with an extended warranty. There are only there are only two prongs here. We sell this with five. What did you do to this? I plugged it in and I waited for it to do something. It's a boomerang, you plug right? Plug it in by the prong. Well, I just, <clears throat> I, I, I just, it's a boomerang. So I, th uh, I threw it. Uh, let me just, let me, let me activate. It. Let me just see. It would... well, I don't oh, understand oh, oh, how you God. plug it in a boomerang, <clears throat> and then you throw it, and then the plug, it just flies right out of the plug. It's the dumbest invention ever. Listen. We don't, we don't, we don't come up with the products. We just sell them. I, I, listen, I get paid enough to care. Uh, you want to return this? Uh, uh, let me just they, throw a stick back on. How much was it? They Freeze. said it was exotic. <laughs> I don't feel exotic no at one all. Can hear me. No one can hear me. Oh, okay. <laughs> Are you telling me to freeze? Who do uh, you want? Steve. Steve. Just yell freeze and then come down. There you go. Okay. Got it. Got it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I'm sorry. What were you saying? I, I was just standing here, and you were smoking. Are you, about, what about is your, that you're smoking? About your boomerang? Going on with the boomerang? <laughs> oh, no, no, don't worry oh, about that. Oh, were you listening to me talking to the Best Buy guy? I, the Best Buy guy. Yeah, it's his break Did time, it, yeah. Yeah. He, yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, you know, I had a lot to drink oh, this morning. You'll have to excuse me. I see. I, uh, no, I no, went to the no, pub. No, no, I see. And then yeah, I bought yeah. this boomerang and I threw it yeah. and it came out yeah. of the wall. But he, that guy already fixed everything now. What are you? We shouldn't sell these. I hate these, man. Every time we sell one, it comes right back. It's anyway. Um, so can I interest you well, in I mean, the it's a boomerang, boomerang 2.0? <laughs> I it's mean, new and improved. What, are the, what are the special features? Well, it what won't is... assault you. Uh, like the old one used to do. Oh, it won't? Uh, well, then I don't yeah, know if I'm interested. Oh, right, right, right. Um, so do you I have am... something that's a little... It does have pretty good insults, though. Pretty good insulting. When you throw it, it hmm. comes back. That's it. See? Every time. But what else can it do? Like, this is Best well, Buy. Like, it's got to do something cool. You know, I'm paying well, all this money. That, 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, back in college, it wrote, it did one of my uh, essays for me, got me an A, which was pretty good. Mm. Either that or I was mm -hmm. really, really high. I don't remember. Anyway, it's a uh, lower price because, you know, it's Best Buy and nothing here is very good. So, uh, yeah, it's about half price. If you want it. Can I test it out? Oh, yeah, definitely, definitely. There's a dressing room right over there. There's pretty good privacy uh, for testing right, uh, right, right, things right. out in the, in the right. dressing room. Cool. Oh. I'm away. Uh, hi, are you... Are, uh, do you work here? Uh, yes, yes, actually. Uh, well, I wouldn't call it work, but yeah. There was, I, I'm there employed. was a lady with like a... The whole bottom half of her body was a fish. She was in the dressing room. I don't even know you guys had a dressing room. I yeah, don't know what the yeah. fuck is going on. Do you, do yeah, you, yeah. Do you sell humidifiers? Yeah. Am I inhaling? I don't get what's going on. Well, you know, it's it's best at Best Buy not to ask too many questions. So, anyway, she's trying out a new product. So, she might be in there for a while. It's the 2.0 new and improved version. So, you might want to just, you know, form a line. The two point oh proof. Freeze, Robbie. Whoa! How did you get here? Are you here to try on the the mermaid suit? Oh my god! Wait, are those like still is here? Shit! I was just at the new and improved two point oh version of that broom thing, thing, but like I here I'm, I'm all ears. Oh my gosh! Let me tell you about how you can use the boomerang with. The mermaid suit. <laughs> we're just gonna stop it right there, children. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm gonna need you guys to boomerang right around, face that curtain of crikey, because boomerang. And we're gonna need you guys right. to pull up those emoji wheels one more time and throw out some special emojis that correspond with the improvatar you think rocked that particular scene. I'm seeing some shocked faces. I have no idea who that's gonna go for. All right, I'm seeing a lot of thumbs. I'm seeing thumbs. I'm seeing some smiley faces. I'm seeing some thumbs. We're seeing some thumbs. I need to. I need to get. I need to go to like auctioneering school for this. You know, I'm seeing one. I'm seeing two. I'm seeing three thumbs. I'm seeing the thumbs. I'm seeing the smiley faces. And the thumbs are gonna have it. Zarnia taking another game tonight. Yay, Zarnia! Woo! Nice one. Go, Zarnia. Thank you. Turn off damn screen. There we go. Cool. All right. And now it's time for the last game of the evening, Scenes from a Chat. But before we go there, I'd like to invite everyone here to join our Discord at discord.io forward slash improvatars. From there, you can interact with the performers, provide success, suggestions and prompts for future shows, and even join the crew. We're, look, we're always looking for new actors. We're always looking for new people to work cameras and things behind the scenes. So definitely, if you're in wanting to get involved with something like this, this is a great way to get started. Go ahead and join the Discord today. And now, scenes from a chat. All right. Let's see. pull up the bloop. All right. Each performer is going to take turns coming up with their funniest lines to scenes suggested to us through the Discord or streaming channels. All right. So let's get the Provatars up front and out, or, you know, however we do this. Hit the four corners. You guys know what to do. You guys know what to do. We do this all the time. This is how we end every single show. So let's go ahead and do some prompts. First one is going to be bad names for breakfast cereals. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. We have the uh, newly released, uh, we, just, we have the broken glass O's. Oh, these are so crunchy. <laughs> satisfying. If you've had Captain Crunch, the same damn thing. Mm. You could also use it as a chandelier if you want. You put it in a bowl. <laughs> Do you have trouble moving? Your bowels in the morning. We have a new cereal for you. It's called Complete Colon Cleanse. It's nutty deliciousness. <laughs> will have you going in no time flat. You'll be running to the restroom. <laughs> oh, man. It's your morning with a nice bowl of adult novel toes. With just two <laughs> fingers wiggling in the right way, you can start your morning with that adult novel toe. Oh, 
Oh, goodness. <laughs> oh, man. We just put Flintstones vitamins in milk. <laughs> <laughs> Try new Dahmer Flakes in new acid flavor. It's a barrel of fun. <laughs> <laughs> wow! <laughs> Fucking shit! <laughs> New Don Johnson and Johnson sushi flakes. There's a little bit of salmon pate in every bite. <laughs> Johnson and Johnson. <laughs> nice, nice. All right. <laughs> Worst excuses for being late that might just fly anyway. Oh boy. Okay. I'm sorry uh, I was late. I was playing with my boomerang. And uh, I, it didn't come back. You're cool. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, sorry, I'm late. I mean, my grandma was asleep, and I was trying to wake her up, and I, uh, I accidentally killed her. <laughs> oh. oh. Captain for the F-131 pilot speaking, we, ha uh, my name is Jonathan Garner. I, I know I'm a little late, but I might just be able to fly anyway. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so sorry I'm late, man. It's just that I really suck at this. I'm terrible. I mean, did you see my sales numbers last, last quarter? Oh my god, I'm terrible at this. I really deserve to be fired, man. I'm so sorry I'm late. By the way, I'm going to be late again tomorrow. See ya, bye. Yeah, boss. Uh, sorry I'm late. Um, I was, uh, I, well, I just got to be honest. I was with your mom last night. Uh, and and <laughs> I, I just got to say, I'm hoping I'm the only one that's late today. Just saying. Uh, oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh, man. I'm sorry I'm late. I was vacuuming, and then I was, I was feeling a certain type of way, and so I put that thing on my ding -a and well it kind of got stuck and i i couldn't come to work like that you know oh nice <laughs> uh i was with disco's uh I, I was i was with disco with your mom it was never mind that was dumb sorry <laughs> so well i was just i, I got stoned and then I heard they had unlimited <laughs> breadsticks at the Olive Garden, but they didn't open until 11. So I had to wait. And then uh, uh, I uh, ate a lot of bread. I'm fired. Oh. They're worth the wait and the job. <laughs> <laughs> so right that I'm late, guys, I was just, uh, I, okay, so I know we, we work at a pharmacy. We, we aren't supposed to test the products, but the laxatives looked like they tasted really good. And I just... I, oh, uh, I just, uh, I thought it would be best for the. <laughs> Sorry, I'm late. I met this guy named Jeffrey at the bar last night and uh, barely made it out of his apartment. I'm, I, I'm lucky I'm here, really. <laughs> Jeffrey Dahmer. Yeah, Get boss. It? Jeffrey, yeah, never boss. Mind. Uh, so, so, so I'm going to be late. Uh, my friend, uh, she got kind of stoned and uh, said that, you know, she had to go and get some uh, Olive Garden breadsticks. And uh, the place didn't open until 11. Uh, and so I spent all this time trying to convince her that uh, the Red Lobster Cheddar Bay Biscuits are infinitely better than anybody uh, has any right to be at any one food. Sorry. True. Cheddar Bay Biscuits, better than Olive Garden breadsticks. So anyway. True that. So anyways, um, but tell your mama says unlimited? hi and that I miss her. Uh, no, <laughs> Cheddar Bay Biscuits Unlimited? Right I think so. Sorry, I'm late. I met this copper last night and he couldn't find the key and I only got one call. And I called your mum. <laughs> right, moving on. Most inopportune times to be put on hold. Oh, man. Hello, operator? Uh, my grandma's up. Uh, operator? Operator? Oh, shit, I gotta do mouth to mouth with my grandma. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm yeah, I'll, I I just want to extend my car war. I really want to extend my car warrant. Okay, I'll hold. I'll hold. Hi, <laughs> mom. Happy birthday. I just thought. Are you fucking kidding? <laughs> Hi, 
a, 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 a triple zero one of a potter a robbery uh what what, what? uh no my, my, this guy's stealing my life oh please so uh okay so you're so you're telling me you've got the boomerang and, and the and the boomerang's coming <laughs> oh it's it's not the boomerang it's not the boomerang oh okay but but it's, it's close it's close? Okay. Uh, uh, oh, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm sorry. I'm gonna have to put you on a really quick hold. Should be no more than three to five minutes. Sorry, sorry. I've got, I've got to put you on hold. Ding. Da, 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 da. If you would like an extended warranty for your adult novelty, please press one now to be transferred to an adult novelty warranty extension specialist after the call. <laughs> I'm sorry. I I don't think I can come into work. Hold on. I gotta put it on mute. Oh, son of a bitch. I'm sorry. I don't think I can come into work today. I'm not feeling. <laughs> All right. If movie trailers were honest. <clears throat> This movie's like everything you've seen before. You have never been in a theater as boring as this one with as many explosions. <laughs> Please bring a date. You'll have more fun with them for the two hours. <laughs> this may or may not be the number one movie in America, but we're not giving your money back. <laughs> You need to see this movie. It has one serious, sad scene, 14 car chases, one bar fight, and 14 more sex scenes. It's fantastic and probably stars someone like Ben Affleck. <laughs> probably. <laughs> uh, do you like block? in a world where you think something different is going to happen in this new movie than what happens in every movie. You're going to think the bad guy is going to win, even though he never does. You're going to cry. You're going to laugh. You're going to see a guy at a funeral, but he's standing really far away because nobody else at the funeral likes him. Come and see the new movie, but it's still the same old movie. Yes. Go up to the stage. Breathe. Free. <laughs> I got one. I got one. Ready? All right. There's nothing new. The last nine movies covered it all, but we're clearly milking this for every dollar. Oh, <laughs> nice. It's a Fast and Furious movie. Got it. <laughs> all right, girls. It's a rom-com. You know it. You love it. And just if you got to, in order to get the boyfriend to take you out, let him know there's going to be at least... 10 seconds of the lead actress's stunt doubles bare breast shown on the camera to give him something to look at. <laughs> Please tell me that you were just coming up here and not saying anything or that you weren't muted. If you were muted, you were muted. Yes. Get back up there and try it again. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Sorry. Okay, just like the last um, Fast and Furious movies, starring Disco's mom, she was fast, then she got furious because she was too fast. <laughs> Welcome to a cyberpunk world where everything sucks and nobody likes each other. Probably a Keanu Reeves somewhere in there, but you'll go for him. <laughs> <laughs> Are you feeling nostalgic about your childhood in the 80s? Well, don't worry. Our writers were bored, so we're just going to remake one of those movies anyway. <laughs> That's exactly. All I right. always feel nostalgic about my childhood in the 80s. Last but not least. Hold on, Babs. Babs, before you start, <laughs> make sure you're unmuted. She is. You can hear her, <laughs> her staticking down the stairs. <laughs> um, I've lost. What, I lost it anyway. It's like, wait, wait, wait. Double check. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> All right.
last but not least, weirdest things to leave Yelp reviews for. What? Weirdest things to Weird. leave That's Yelp why reviews for. That's wasn't long enough. <laughs> <laughs> My adult boomerang. Three stars. Didn't <laughs> always come back. <laughs> this pride parade is great, but I'm still insecure. One star. I bought this boomerang at Best Buy for my girlfriend, and I haven't seen her since. She just took off. I don't know. Um, one time, I got a kiss from a guy named Jeffrey that Robbie introduced me to. I rate that kiss uh -huh. two stars. Not enough tongue, <laughs> but just the right amount of teeth. <laughs> I ordered oh, a box no. of boomerangs, and I got a box of bananas, so I just threw them at you. <laughs> And I ended up coming back. <laughs> Did you guys oh, know man. that Chucky Cheese sometimes has a bar? Five bucket stars. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I'm leaving this Yelp review for the phone associate that was helping me with the Best Buy boomerang sales. Let's just say the sale of the boomerang wasn't the only thing he helped me finish. <laughs> nice. <clears throat> I performed on a comedy show called The Improvatars, and I'd like to give the audience five stars for being awesome. Yay! That's a weird. <laughs> That's weird. I'm gonna buzz at that one. <laughs> <laughs> That's gonna. You know what? Okay, fine. We got two more. Babs, Babs, Bree, come on up here, and then we're gonna close. We're gonna close out the show. <laughs> Bree, come on up. Come on up, Bree. Uh -oh. I, I got this bomb okay, okay. like a banana. It was nice and creamy inside. Oh, <laughs> and then I'll end it with I was in the audience of this show called the Improvatars, and I give all the actors five stars. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> all right, that's going to be Can our show for tonight. I appreciate you guys all sticking around. I know we got started really, really late. I know we had a little bit of technical difficulties. And specific difficulties getting everything started. We love you all. Please join the Discord if you can, if you have not done so already. Until next time, our next show is going to be basically this same hour on Thursday. <clears throat> all right. Have a good one, guys. Be safe. Until next time, let's dance this one and out. It's like a boogeyman. You got to come back. <laughs> Oh, my God.